everybody, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a recommendation video with a little bit of a twist. Basically, I'm going to be doing a recommendation video called From Stunt to Book. Basically how this works is I'm going to be recommending books based on cheerleading stunts. There's going to be three that I'm recommending because yes, I am a cheerleader. I'm going to be limiting myself to two to three books for each category or stunt because otherwise we'll be here all day <laughs> because I won't know how to control myself. I'm really, really excited to share this, these recommendations with you, so let's get straight into it. The first stunt I have chosen is Partner Stunt. This entails two or three people working together to create a stunt. So for this recommendation, I have chosen books that focus on two to three characters throughout the story. The first book I chose for this category is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Richardson. This book was on my TBR for so long. As soon as I heard about it, I knew I wanted to read it. Basically, fantasy, my favourite YA genre let's be honest and I knew it had a character who loves books I'm sold I'm so sold basically it follows this girl named Elizabeth who is raised in a library and is told all sorcerers are evil her world is tipside upside down when she has a teen up with this sorcerer named Nathaniel to unravel a mystery that threatens her world this book is a love letter to us all it combines fantasy and who we all are bookworms I highly recommend it to all those bookworms out there the next book I recommend for this category is Damage by Kathy Glass. This book I'm putting a trigger warning for severe child abuse and mental health. If you do not know who Kathy Glass is, she is a foster carer in the UK who writes about the foster kids that she takes care of, making all these stories very, very true, unfortunately, because they're heartbreaking. This book is the most heartbreaking book I have ever read. I cry every time I read this bawling my eyes out even though I know what's going to happen. It's absolutely heartbreaking because of the fact that it is very, very true what happened. It follows this girl named Jodie who comes into Kathy's care after being through several carers due to her violent and destructive behaviour. It follows her journey as she comes to terms with the severe abuse that she has had in the short eight years of her life through the care of Kathy and her family. The next stunt is Group Stunt. This is a group of four people that work together to create a stunt. For this recommendation, I am choosing a book that focuses on four people or a group of people throughout the story. The first book I chose for this category is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. This book is told through the multiple perspectives of each of these individual characters, which creates this depth and understanding to each of these characters. If you do not know what this duology is about, it follows these group of criminals who are hired to perform a heist. Lee Bardugo does a fantastic job of writing each of these individual characters. They have so many flaws and complexities about each and every single one of them, which creates this understanding and depth and rawness to these characters and this story. I love the relationships in this book duology and the way they develop throughout the duology it is absolutely incredible to see and I love seeing how they create these relationships with each other and the storylines that go along with it. If you have not picked up this duology I highly highly recommend it. The next book I chose for this category is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Yes I know I've gushed and gushed about this book so many times but I'm going to continue recommending it until every single person has read this series because it's absolutely incredible. Basically it follows this girl named Clary Frey whose world is turned upside down when she discovers her mum is kidnapped. She is tossed in a world full of werewolves, fairies, warlocks, vampires and shadow hunters. People who are half angel, half human. It is only through the help of the shadow hunters that she is able to find her mum and discover the secrets of the shadow world. Cassandra Clare does an incredible job of writing such flawed characters that are so relatable and realistic. She creates this depth and absolute beauty to these characters that are so unique that I absolutely love reading about and diving into this incredible world. The last stunt I chose is Pyramid. This entails at least three group stunts coming together to create Pyramid. For this recommendation, I am choosing books that entails different groups of people coming together. The first series I'm recommending for this category is the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. As you can see, this is actually the seventh book, not the first one. So if you want to pick up this series, you need to start with Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone to understand. Because, spoilers. J.K. Rowling creates this timeless story where the importance of friendship is highly, highly important in this story. How when we work together, we can defeat whatever lies ahead. She creates a story where different groups of people 
including the teachers, the parents and the students come together to defeat the Dark Lord of Voldemort. If you have not read this series, first off, how? <laughs> it is a must read for all fantasy, scratch that, all readers out there. It is a fantastic series. It is a timeless story that this JK Rowling has created. It's absolutely incredible. Basically, follows this boy named Harry who on his 11th birthday discovers that he is a wizard. He is whisked away to Hogwarts, a school of witchcraft and wizardry, where he finds out the truth about his family's death and about the dark wizard called Voldemort. This is absolutely incredible story. It is timeless. It is a masterpiece in creating a story that is about friendship and the importance of people coming together to create an evil and the strength of people when they come together. It has different groups coming together throughout this story, which is why it fits in this category, including the teachers, the parents, and the children. If you have not read this series already, pick it up. Trust me, it is absolutely incredible. You'll absolutely love it. The next series I recommend for this category is A Court and Thunder Roses by Sarah J Maas. I can't give away too much about this series, otherwise spoilers, but I feel there are so many aspects of this trilogy that fit so well into this category, especially the last one. This book is set in a world where fairies and humans live side by side, separated by a wall. It follows this girl named Freya who accidentally kills a fairy when she goes hunting for food for her family. Due to this, she is taken to the spring court of the fairy world to spend the rest of her days as punishment. I absolutely love this trilogy. It is absolutely incredible. I love the dark undertones of this story and the complexity of this world with all the courts interwoven into the fairyland is incredible to watch and to see develop. The characterization of all these different characters is so intricate and incredible that where, from where they started to where they ended up is absolutely different path than you would ever expect it and which makes it even more delightful to see and to watch. There are many, many, many plot points that you don't see happening or flips of characters you wouldn't normally see, which I absolutely, absolutely loved and I highly, highly recommend this trilogy for any, any, any fantasy lover because it is an incredible fantasy trilogy that you should definitely, definitely read. Hey guys, that's it for my Sun 2 book recommendation video. If you like what you saw, definitely hit subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for when I post a new video. If you would like to follow me on my social media, all the links are written down below. I have a very exciting poll that is on my Instagram story every Wednesday, so be sure to check that out as well. Let me know Let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of these books before and what you thought of them and how they went into the categories, if you disagree or agree with where they ended up. But until next time, guys, see ya!